What's up guys and welcome to a video entitled Finishers. What are they? They're exercises you can put in at the end of your workout to help finish off each muscle. You're going to treat these like any other exercise and you can put them in doing your three to five sets if you want to or you can do your entire normal routine and add two extra sets of each of these movements on at the end. So now we're going to take a look at an exercise for each muscle group and go through them one by one so you can take them Put them in the gym, use them, gain, go. First up is a chest cable flies finisher. So you're gonna set yourself up as you would normally on the cable flies with your body posture, but you're gonna do three variations on your finish position. So start position stays the same every single time you return to the same point, but then you're gonna go low, middle, and high. Slight adjustment on the hand position at the very top of the rep, so you're gonna turn the hands over for that high, but for the low and the middle, you're gonna keep the hands turned in as per normal. This is a really great exercise for hitting all angles of the chest, plus helps with that shoulder control. Biceps, for this one we're going to hit up some Zotman curls, if you don't know what they are, it's a variation on the bicep curl that includes an overhand portion to each segment. On this one you'll see me using the overhand on the negative, but if you feel any pressure in your elbows, you can flip reverse this exercise and use that overhand grip on the positive and then turn it over for a standard on the negative. Make sure that you keep your scapula engaged, core braced, nice soft knees and curl as you would normally, but make sure you fight those negatives. On to triceps, and this one is a skull crusher variation using some dumbbells. You're gonna to wanna to do this quite light. What you need to do is keep an angle on the arms behind the head. You're gonna come down with a hammer grip either side of the head, then driving back up, you're gonna turn the dumbbells in and squeeze the triceps. This is a really, really nice exercise, but it does take a lot of focus. Again, fight the negative and control the positive, keeping those arms at an angle. If you lose that angle, you'll lose the tension on the muscle. Next up, back, and for this one, you're probably gonna use a machine you haven't used before, and that is the assisted pull-up. But you're gonna need it to be assisted because this is a lot of reps. You're gonna do 10 standard reps, wide grip, make sure to flare the lats, rolling those elbows under. Once you've done 10 of those, you're gonna switch the grip to a hammer grip, close grip, and you're gonna get at least six more reps with that grip. If you can do more, do more. This is a fantastic finisher, working from wide to narrow, and it also helps incorporate a lot of the biceps. Onto shoulders, and this one is one you might not have seen before. All you need to do is lie face down on an angled bench, and you're gonna do something called WYI. It's called that because of the way the arms move. You're going to make sure that you disengage and re-engage your scapula before every separate motion. You're gonna bring your elbows up, and then roll the arms out. A lot of you will use this for rotator cuff rehab work. Next up is a Y motion, simple again. Retraction of the scapula, then bringing the arms out, fully extended in a Y shape. And then to finish off, same thing, retract the scapula again, and then you're gonna bring the dumbbells up right in line with your head, creating an I shape with your body. Hence, W-Y-I. A fantastic exercise that also helps really work the rotator cuffs. Heading down under towards the legs, and this is a great one. It also helps hit the hamstrings and quads at the same time. This is a leg press using a high press, which helps incorporate the hamstrings a little bit more. Then you're gonna bring your feet down and together, and you're gonna do a close leg press. This is a really nice, versatile exercise. If you feel stress on the knees when your feet are close together, just edge the feet a little further up the plate, and that should help relieve it. Make sure that you're not allowing the hips to come up as you come down on the negative. If your hips are coming off the seat at all, you put a lot of pressure on your back, and that's what we want to avoid. So keep your technique nice and strict, slow negatives, strong positives, drive through the heels, keep that ass down. So there you go, that's the first introduction to six new finishes that you can add into your exercises throughout the week, wherever you see fit. Let me know if you've liked this video, comment below on anything else that you'd like to see. If you see a comment that someone puts down there and you know the answer to it, make sure to help each other out, you've been doing a great job so far. Also make sure to hit that notification bell. At the moment there's some issues with the channel where you guys aren't being notified when I upload. If you hit the bell below, you will be instantly notified when a video goes up so you won't miss anything. That's everything for now. Until the next video, I'm Lex and we are out.